In this video, I'm gonna show you how I set up the PreSonus Studio Live for my personal use here in the studio. So as you can see, I have 16 channels on this layer and then another 32 channels on the next layer. So for me, I like to have different outputs of my doll, the YouTube audio, maybe the drum set that I have connected to the computer, my Archeria keyboard controller, and just any other digital output that I want to use on a fader to control the overall volume. And by utilizing the user layer, I can access all those faders quickly and easily. So let me go ahead and show you how to set that up. So you can see we have the user button right here. So I'm just going to press that and then select any of these channels and a screen will come up that I can further use to assign different channels. So if I turn the knob here, I can scroll down to see all the different groups. I have DCA groups. I have my submixes. Here's all my auxes and so on. So before I actually assign stuff, let me name a few of these tracks so we can see what I'm actually doing here. So usually my click track is coming up on 25 and that's pretty much with any doll that i use so i'm going to change the names of these tracks using the universal control and now you can see its name click track all right and i'm actually just going to call it click because that's probably a little easier to read so there's my click and i can change the color of this check this out so now it's orange, or I can make it yellow, or I can make it blue and red. So let's just leave it red for now. That's pretty good. All right, 21 and 22 is going to be stereo. And that is going to be my uh, return from the computer. Okay, so I'm going to call this comp. And then 23 and 24 are also stereo. This is going to be doll. Okay, so I have computer, doll, and click track. So now when I go into user, I can choose any one of these faders to assign another fader to. So just to say, for example, if I select the last channel, I can go in and say, I want this to be my doll. And now you see that shows up right there. Okay, and now I'm going to choose this one. I want that to be my comp and this one right here i want this to be my click track all right so check this out if i hit user now i can see those three faders all right here so i can control the volume coming from the computer whether i'm watching youtube or anything else i can control the output of my doll and i can control the volume of my click track okay now that's really really cool now let's go even farther and let's go to my aux and I'm going to say this is a subgroup. Okay. And we're going to rename this drums. All right. So there's my drums and now I'm going to go into user, hit select and scroll down. And here's my drums subgroup. So now I can select this channel and I can add some compression to it. And this is a great way of seeing only the channels that you want because maybe in the regular main mix you have a drum setup right here that you really like the sound of but you want to quickly add some compression or maybe some eq just go to user hit the drum track and this fader also controls the overall volume of those drums and you can go in and eq some stuff maybe we do some vintage Vintage EQ and tweak some settings, move things around. And now we can go back to our computer. So you can go through and set up all the tracks in the user layer to be whatever you want, whether that's DCAs, aux groups, subgroups, a matrix mix, uh, any outputs from your computer and so on. So I hope this was helpful to you. Be sure to subscribe down below and click that bell. And in the meantime, I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.